A new study from the CDC finds fewer teenagers are vaping. The report found fewer than 20% of high schoolers and 5% of middle school age kids are using e-cigs. That's down from 30% and 11% respectively. Local experts say that even those numbers are promising, there's still a whole lot of concern. And Charlene Cristobal is joining us now to talk more about what they found. Charlene, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Ange. So that study found that even though vaping is down, the use of disposable e-cigs is up. And experts at IU say that there's really a reason for that. So let's explain here. So last year, there was an increase in vaping-related illnesses, and that caused officials locally and federally to ban flavored e-cig vaping products. But the ban did not include a restriction on the disposable and the menthol tobacco products. And experts at IU found that's where those numbers and that usage from teens and kids seem to shift to. While the um, National Youth Tobacco Survey um, does show a decline in the used cigarette use, um, the companion study that came out at the same time that looked at the sales is what kind of showed the difference in how people were switching to different products. So Buckles, who you just heard from, also believes that the buying age, in, uh, because the buying age for these products went up to 21, and then in Indiana, possession age is also 21. That's another reason why we've seen these numbers go down. But again, she says it just looks like young people are shifting to buy different products that are not banned. Buckles warns teens who vape or use e-cigarettes e that there is a study out there that found the risks of getting COVID-19 actually increase in those who smoke and vape. So that's something that you want to keep in mind. Now, IU experts still believe that there is a lot of work to be done to eliminate these products so that kids do not use them. CDC is still adamant that any tobacco use from kids, it's just very dangerous. So they say we need to be advocating for more state and local policies to get these flavored products off the market because that's really where these kids are starting. I'll send it back to you.